Yo, yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Vango EDU, and today is gonna be a really simple video for you guys. I'm gonna show you just an example of basically how to uh, register your styles in a different way. Okay, so right now, as you can see over here, I have a page that has no uh, Bootstrap 5 styles mentioned. So if I just remove this WP and Q script and WP and Q style and just refresh the page over here you're gonna find that basically the page is working right now and the menu and everything because it is unqueuing the scripts and the styles for the assets that are over here the CSS and the JavaScript but there is an issue a little bit with using this method because basically you're gonna have these assets all the time in your project so right now you're gonna have uh, a little bit of some performance issues on mobile so let me just show you an example Although Lighthouse is not the most reliable tool in the world, but uh, it still would show you a good uh, indicator of the development level uh, of the performance of the application itself. So let's just go and do that. If you don't have Lighthouse installed, just go into Extensions, Chrome, or Firefox and just download Lighthouse. But uh, to test out for local hosts, you need to basically do this on a uh, Google Chrome uh, uh, browser okay so let me show you the performance while we're using the assets that we have over here okay so right now we have the performance at like 75% so let's just comment these out and I'm gonna register right now using the CDN if you want to do it in WordPress let me show you just an example I'm not gonna do it all over again but I'm just gonna show you an example uh, just to register a script from uh, the CDN here it is like I'm registering JSAP I'm using JSAP and I'm just registering J JSAP uh, using the cloud delivery network over here instead of that I'm using the files over here okay so in order for me to do that there is this method which I just show you this is the first method to do it it's basically just registering the cloud delivery network link and then on queuing the script and doing the same thing for uh, the style okay so let me do it right now in a really simple way all we need to do is just go into our bootstrap 5 documentation and write CDN it just means the cloud delivery network okay so in the introduction you're gonna find two links over here it is basically as you can see over here it's a free open source CDN using a package manager so you could download the files like I did and just add them where or you could just copy this link and add it to your header because links are supposed to be between your head basically literally these uh, tags is called head all right and for the script just add it before uh, the body I usually have the body over here in the footer the end tags over here so I just put it before the body and right now you can see that in our assets.php we don't have the styles for bootstrap bootstrap files are basically commented out so we're supposed to get the bootstrap 5 styles right now from the cloud delivery network not the let me show you that just a second yeah so here it is the styles are working uh, so let me destroy my refresh and as you can see it is working and if we do a new report analyze the page load right now we're using the cloud delivery network by the way so the styles are rendered through the cloud delivery network and you're gonna find a difference in performance it's supposed to be better actually so let's just check out that so there is like a 10% performance but the performance uh, like is still there you know what I mean and what's cool about a cloud delivery network is also you can just press this link and you'll see that this is the code the minified version of the code that you're basically registering to your project so these are the two methods let me just go quick over them really quickly to register the cloud delivery network scripts and CSS3 files you could do this you could do a WP register script and then the name of the script you're going to on queue and then the link for the CDN and array 
and a false for the version number and then true to activate it and finally for the on queue style I don't have an example over here but I'm gonna show you an example that I got over here from code grepper uh, here it is where is it here it is it is basically the same thing but the difference is in here we're just using a uh, like the template directory URI we don't want the template directory URI we want to use the uh, links all right so I'm gonna leave that as a challenge for you guys but I'm gonna show you an example over here in the JavaScript okay and for the second method it's basically registering these files using just regular script tag and link tag so I'm gonna keep these for now but that was it for today you guys I want you guys to comment and like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video hopefully in the next few videos guys we're gonna making a new contact form and if you ha want anything uh, like specific for me to explain please let me know in the comments and I will just try to post a video as a response to your question okay see you guys in the next video this was Engie the UAM peace